Introducing Jarvis. Yeah, you there? Hey everyone, it's the real Tony Stark. Uh, it's been a while, but there's a reason for that. I've been working on this for quite some time. Uh, this, you're thinking, I've already seen your helmet move up and down. Yeah, but this is better, because Jarvis is on board. Uh, Jarvis actually responds and listens to my voice. Um, and I'm going to show you a few of the other features that I've added in as well. Made it lighter, more compact than before. Uh, let's start by showing you the guts of the helmet. Um, so to begin, uh, at the very, very top, you can see this round circle here. That's my speaker. Uh, then we've got the batteries here. Uh, this is the whole control board. Very thin. Uh, about two square inches in uh, area. We got a, a larger servo now. Uh, now this one can actually rotate 180 versus the previous one which I used which did uh, uh, 90 only. Um, so this one can take it farther and it's stronger um, and it's cheaper. So better all around. Uh, also in here we've got, well I'll go down to the jaw, well you've got your eye LEDs as usual. And then um, there's a microphone in the jaw. And in the far side, you can see a red magical board, which is called a uh, capacitive touch sensor. All of this uh, offers what I'm going to show you um, in my new 3.0 servo mechanism. So, turn it on, hold it upright. What it's doing is calibrating the tilt, uh, as I still have that functionality in here. Um, and it's also capturing ambient light. So, when I put it on my head, It auto powers on. Um, it's really handy because it's button free. Uh, and even with the button free, as I mentioned, that capacitive touch sensor, all I have to do is touch the outside of the helmet and it activates the uh, servo mechanism. So no buttons required. It goes right through the, uh, the whatever you make your helmet out of plastic or fiberglass, doesn't matter. Um, so one of the other cool features is, as I said, Jarvis. And I've been working on this for a while. The hardest thing has been trying to get him to isolate um, sounds and be able to respond to different people's voices. And I've done it. So I've programmed a few uh, commands in here, the basic ones. Sorry if it's harder to hear, but i got to say it from inside the helmet. Jarvis. Open. Jarvis. Close. Uh, we've also got um, Jarvis. Tilt. So now my classical functionality of the tilting is still activated, but I can still use the touch or his voice to uh, Close the face plate. Jarvis. Eyes off. Jarvis. Eyes. Now, of course, as with any good helmet, Sometimes you need a little bit of music. Jarvis. Hit it. The Iron Man Servo Mechanism 3.0 is ready. Thanks for watching.